So Capstock learners, in terms of the roles they've gone on to, to achieve, uh, we've seen a really wide array of, of different roles. So, you know, across the technology side where they're looking at, you know, they could be a SOC analyst, uh, an offensive security consultant. Um, if we look at process and policy, people have gone on to be data privacy consultants or junior cybersecurity consultants. And then across the, the people aspect as well, where they've gone on to be training awareness officers, working on culture within an organisation. So, yeah, the course and the opportunities really set you up for all different manner of opportunities in cyber. So your personal preference, you might find an area which you really enjoy and we help you specialise and go in that direction. Yeah, so cybersecurity is a fantastically paying sector, right? So we're seeing at the moment our average graduate goes on to earn £29,300. And that range is really from sort of, you know, at the low end 24K, where somebody really takes a job based on opportunity and the potential to learn, through to our highest earners going on to, to earn sort of between 38 and 43K. You know, for one example of that is we had a music composer who is now earning £43,000 as a training and awareness officer. Um, so yeah, the salaries are fantastic, but what's really important in cyber is once you've got a foot in the door is year two, year three and onwards, you know, the average salary for a cybersecurity professional in the UK is 50k plus and you know, the, the rate at which you get to that point is, is pretty rapid. The types of roles that our learners are securing, we, we've had music composers transition into the, their first job in the industry as a training and awareness lead. We've had people transfer from hospitality into um, security engineering in a 16 week period. We've had people um, transfer from the military and, and again, move into that governance, risk and compliance world. So really diverse in terms of the work that people are securing. So we are engaged with um, a number of different companies across the globe who are interested in um, employing CAPSOT learners. They range from um, consultancies that specialise in the world of cybersecurity to financial services, organisations and some smaller um, cybersecurity consultancies as well. The, um, the brands that we work with include the NCC Group, Next, Deloitte, Lloyds Banking Group, Santander, In regards to advice for those looking to come into the industry for the first time, really what our employer partners are looking for is that passion, willingness to learn. And really, you know, if you go onto to websites like Hack the Box or Try Hack Me to self-study, it's not enough anymore to differentiate yourself. Really that passion and willingness to learn is what employers are looking for. And you get that by coming to somewhere like a CAPSOC, taking on an apprenticeship, going to university, etc. You've got to really take that career change seriously. Um, to, to achieve what you need to achieve.